What's up guys, this is Chris here, and today we're gonna to be doing another first shots. Well, I'm not, my wife is. She is going to be shooting the Kimber KDS-9C. So uh, I can't shoot yet because of my tinnitus, but my wife sure could shoot this, and we're gonna have her shoot it today and demonstrate it for you guys, so that way you can see it and decide whether or not you want it. Now this is a new gun that we actually got from Kimber for review. It's a pretty interesting gun, and it's pretty. I can say that for sure. If you look at the gun initially, it's a 2011 style pistol. It's definitely not a 2011 because Takato is the only one who can say that, <laughs> but it is a double stack 1911 that looks very suspiciously like a 2011. Uh, so the difference between a 2011 and a double stack 1911 is going to be a 2011 has a slide a frame and then a grip whereas a double stack 1911 just has a good old slide and a grip so this has an aluminum lower with a pin grip safety that looks very cool and it feels very nice as well the gun feels really good in your hand uh, it has a bowed uh, mid-size trigger probably uh, middle as far as the length goes not too short but not too long she likes that you're right I do like that and then we have an extended magazine release which is nice single-sided safety but obviously there's room here to get an be safety so I'm sure they make those or they wouldn't have put that big giant cut into the grip we have a combat style hammer adjustable rear blacked out sight with a front fiber optic very cool sighting setup we also have some very usable and very awesome looking slide serrations I'm such a sucker for slide serrations if, if I was anything I'd be a slide serrations and trigger snob triggers matter a lot to me and then serrations matter a lot to me because if you're gonna put an optic on a gun you don't want to really run it by the optic a lot and I shoot a lot of optic guns so you're gonna want to run it from the front and you're gonna be able to grip it. Now it has a pretty heavy spring, but it should shoot just fine. It has I, whatever Kimber's optics mounting system. Today we're gonna to run an iron sights. Uh, it comes with two 15 round magazines, an MSRP of 14.99, a barrel length of four inches, and an overall weight of 25 ounces, kind of putting it slightly larger than a Staccato C2. So I kind of like this because instead of the more modern take of the Staccato C2, they went more of a classic look. This reminds me a lot of a double stack commander style 1911 that you would get maybe five, 10 years ago, you'd get a, a single stack, whereas this is just a double stack version of it. I think that's where Kimber's niche really is. I think they make more 1911s than anybody else in America. And I think it was probably uh, inevitable they would get into the 2011 game. So we'll have to go out today and shoot this bad boy and see how it shoots. And then eventually we'll give you the full thousand round review. Before we do that, I wanna mention my page supporters. Thank you guys very much. It's because you guys were on the channel at all. We really appreciate your support and we really appreciate you helping us make these honest reviews. I also want to mention a local shelter in Ames, Iowa. It's the YSS. Those kids could really use your help, so please go down to that link in the description and donate to those kids. And finally, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Sonoran Desert Institute. They're one of our favorite sponsors. I'm a big fan of what they give to people, and I'm a big fan of being able to get educated in a field that you're passionate about. I like that they offer education for not only gunsmithing, but drone technology and tons of other subjects that are unique and fun. I also love the capability of the gunsmiths that come from Sonoran Desert Institute. And if you're interested in a career in the gun industry, it's a great way to go. I've said this before and I'll say it again, there is not a lot of qualified or quality gunsmiths in my area or anywhere around. And I think it's a profession that not only helps people, but you can make a lot of money in. And I think one of the best ways to go to get into that is gonna be the Sonoran Desert Institute. thing it feels really good so far um, the only thing is that it's a compact so it is a little snappier but I do feel that the weight of the aluminum is helping with that and helping it return to zero making those follow-up shots a little bit easier it's not super fast because I'm not super fast with it yet I'm just learning it but so far I'm really enjoying it I need more mags, man. Two is just not enough to keep me going. Let's see how I do at distance. Not promising anything, but if I do well, yay for me. All right. Yay for me! Yay. 
Yeah. If I can do this, get my right stance. Oh, fail barrel. bollocks. It's all about being better than you were yesterday. Sometimes I get down on myself because I'm not Chris. I could, Chris could shoot this at 75 yards cold. I can't, but I have been practicing and this feels like a pretty good distance for me. Poppers are so satisfying to hear go down. I don't know about you, but I love it. Keep working at it. Since I like to pretend I'm cool, let's do some barrel work. See how we do. So I'm not very good at like room clearing but what I work on when I do barrel stuff is uh, sight acquisition and accuracy, something I just started working on. Um, but I love so far the fiber optic front and the blacked out rear. I just love that setup. It makes me front focus. It helps me see the target. It helps me see the sights better. And it's my favorite sighting setup. Out. So the Kimber Katie S9C, I have to say for the first 150 rounds uh, went really well. It ran totally smooth. We ran 150 rounds of Blazer aluminum case through it and it worked great. Um, I have to say I really like it. It feels really good in my hand. Chris has ginormous giant hands, but I have baby hands and I feel like this gun fits me really well. I feel like I was able to get a really good grip on it, um, which obviously helped me control the recoil a lot. Um, I am still learning and practicing and I'm not always as accurate as Chris. That's definitely one thing that I am battling as I'm on these videos with you guys. We all compare ourselves to people on the internet and I'm no different. I compare myself to Chris all the time. I compare myself to how good of a shot he is and um, I just have to remember that I only have to focus on being better than I was yesterday and I feel like I'm doing a really good job in my training. I'm having a lot of fun reviewing guns like the Kimber Katie, they make these names really long, Katie S9C and um, let me know if you guys like this. I know a lot of you have been requesting this video so Thank you to Kimber for sending this to us to try. I like it and I'm excited to run a thousand rounds through it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please be a light in your community and I'll check you later. Bye.